smack them a gob and bang bang pizza skulls and man this is awesome I want to thank a few people before I start this episode first Brian Wilson from bringing uh, the attention because uh, he played a show with this band uh, he's in the band he's with Ingve Malmsteen Ingve Malmsteen was just on tour and Culprit did a few shows with them and he asked me have you ever heard of Culprit I was like man it sounds familiar and uh, I meant to check it out, but I totally forgot. But King Dinosaur, Scott West, he, uh, less than a week later, he sends a donation for me to put this band Culprit against the first Metal Church album. And I was completely blown away by this band Culprit. I was like, man, this shit's awesome. And look what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a Culprit shirt. And uh, it was Scott Earl, who's the bass player of Culprit. He saw the track by track album battle, got in touch with me, sent me a link, and I bought this because I was so blown away by it. But you know, and I and, and I wrote him. I said, "Dude, I just ordered Guilty of Charge." You know, the the original. And he said, "Oh, that's a bummer because this is better." And that's what I'm going to review today, which is called Culp uh, Guilty as Charged Live from Culprit. All right? So, I bought this, and he sent me this, and a shirt as well. I mean, thank you so much, Scott. That's awesome, dude. That's awesome. And I said to him, you know, he sent me the MP3s of the live one, and I was completely blown away. So... When he sent me all this, I said, man, the least I can do is review this. Not only, not only because he sent me all this cool swag, a CD and a shirt, but it really is worthy to talk about. I'm not, hey, man, look at the original track by track I did. I wasn't talking to Scott Earl. I didn't know who he was. And I was being very sincere on that track by track. I was glowing about it. And, uh, but I figured, you know, I mean, he was nice enough to do this. And I think this is very worthy to let my viewers check this out you gotta check this out it's so good and I took notes here and I'm gonna go through each track and I gotta say you know uh, he told me he wasn't happy with this um, and I can understand why after hearing this but I still really like this I'm not saying this is bad I like it he was hey he's a part of the band he knows he knows what's up and I do agree with them. Listening to this version, it's kind of like Unleashed in the East by Priest, how I prefer those versions and the studio versions, but I still love the, the old school studio versions like Victim of Changes and Ripper and so, like I like this. But I prefer Unleashed in the East versions, and I gotta say, oh, with the exception of one song, I say it's equal. And that would be Tyrant. I think Tyrant's equal on Unleashed and Sad Wings. But uh, I have to talk about this because this is fucking amazing. And it's the full album plus a, a, a bass solo that I got to talk about, man, because I was really impressed by that. All right. First song is uh, the title track, Guilty as Charge. Kick-Ass. Kick-Ass. I prefer it. Over this version, I prefer all the songs actually on the live version than the studio version. But you know what, man? I still dig this. Have I said that before? I recommend both of these, to tell you the truth. Um, and check the description below. I hope I remember to add a link where you can order this shit and a shirt. It's fucking awesome. And look at the back of the shirt. I don't know if you can make it out. Because I can't see the camera, but let's see. Let me duck a little bit. Uh, let me squat a little bit. It's got a cool print on the back. All right. Then we go into what, I mean, the first time I heard this album, I was like, wow, man. After I finished this, and I was like, man, Ice in the Back is the best track off it. I, it's my favorite, you know. Listening to it now, it's still my favorite, and again... It's better than uh, 
this live version. And you know what? I hear a little Maiden influence, the early Maiden stuff, musically influence in the music. Uh, it's great, and it's still my favorite song on here. Um, next is Steel to Blood. Killer track, great drumming. And this singer is killing it, man. Does he have a name? Or is it? Well, I'm sure he has a name. But is the name in here? Let me, uh, let me, let me fuck it. Because I got I to gotta give a shout out to that dude. Uh, Mino Min, Meru? Mino Meru, I believe his name is. And uh, he's amazing. Killer vocals, man. And uh, song kicks ass. The next song is called I Am. And this is like a really killer metal song, but it's got this really cool melody to it. I love it. It's fucking awesome. All right, the next song, Ambush. Now, I didn't like this song. Uh, if you see my track by track, I was like, all right, yeah, I can't get into this one. But it was a first listen, you know? And it grew on me. I really like it. And yes, of course, this version blows it away from the studio version. It really made me like it more. And he mentions on the CD how that had some radio play back in the day. So I guess it was the single. But I dig it. I dig it now. I didn't before, but I do dig it now. All right, the next one. The bass, it's a bass solo, but it's a bass solo with drums. And I'm listening to this and I'm like, hey, wait, isn't that anesthesia? I wasn't sure yet because it had a little part of anesthesia and then it went into this other killer bass playing, but it kept going back to anesthesia a lot. And I was like, oh yeah, this is definitely anesthesia with, you know, other stuff he added to it. And then he ends it with Star Spangled Banner. And it's fucking amazing. I think it's fucking amazing. And then when the song's over, he's like, yeah, long live Cliff. I was like, yeah, you know. It was great. I thought it, he did it justice. You did it a lot of justice, Scott. I thought, uh, man, you're a monster bass player, bro. You're fucking badass. All right. And then goes into Tears of Redemption. And uh, again, man, I got I to gotta bring up Minu. Is that his name again? I have the worst memory. I can forget shit in five seconds. Um, great, great singing, man. And the song is awesome. And uh, get out of here. It's a ripping track. Ripping track. Uh, next is a Same to You. Tight galloping. It's a metallic assault. And again, with great melodic vocals. Love it. Uh, next one is uh, another crusher, man. Fight Back. I love that kind of gang vocal thing. Fight Back. It's fucking... It's got that hooks, and it rules. Great, great song, man. I'm telling you, this is... This right here is All Killer, No Filler. I'm telling you. It'll be in an All Killer, No Filler feature episode, I'm sure. Uh, what's next? Um... Players, and this is the last song, and again, the first time I heard it, like, it's, it starts ballad -y. and I thought, you know, since this whole album is a ripping metal album, I thought, oh, they're going to throw the ballad at the end, you know, and that's what I figured it was going to be, but no, you know, it, it's ballad for a while, and then it goes into a song that now, after listening to this a few times, this is my second favorite track on the album, and I love the little ballad -y section. You know, it's fucking awesome. So, the name of the band is Culprit. The, the album is called Guilty as Charged Live. And it's a highly recommended CD. And again, I thank you again so much, Scott Earl, for hooking me up. And uh, I'm glad you did, dude. I'm glad you did because I would have been listening. I would have been just hearing this and still loving it, but didn't. Would not have been aware of the improvement. And also, uh, Scott West, right? Scott West, King Dinosaur, and Brian Wilson. Uh, Y'all rule. All three of you rule, and I thank you so much. And uh, check out the description below. You know, trust me, you got to hear this shit. It's fucking awesome. I wouldn't go out of my way 
to make a damn, you know, uh, video only about this, okay? That's how, that's how much I stand behind this album, Culprit Guilty as Charged, and the original studio version. Dig it. So thanks again, you guys. And uh, if, if you like to donate, I got a PayPal in the description below. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not. So listen to Black Sabbath and stay frosty. See, I'm changing it up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And smack them a gob. Bang, bang, pizza skulls.